In more than 75 years of NBA history, there have been many great teams, but only a few have left a real mark as some of the best ever. There can be different criteria on which the best teams can be ranked, but the main one is whether they won the championship or not. So let's jump straight into it and look back at 10 NBA teams that ruled the league. At number 10, 2015 to 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers. We start with the Cleveland Cavaliers team that won the only NBA championship in franchise history. Two years before that, LeBron James decided to come back from Miami and try to bring a championship to his home state of Ohio. The previous season, the Cavs made it to the NBA Finals but lost to the Golden State Warriors in six games. In the 2015-16 season, the Warriors looked even scarier, finishing the regular season with the all-time best 73-9 record, while the Cavaliers topped the East with a 57 wins and 25 losses. That was the second of four straight finals between these two teams and the only time the Cavaliers ended up as winners. The Warriors jumped to a quick 3-1 lead in the final series, but it seemed like they started celebrating a little too early. LeBron James dropped 41 points in two straight games to take the series to the decisive Game 7. The Warriors were still the favorites to win that one in front of the home crowd. The Cavs kept the game close and Kyrie Irving made a three-point shot with around 30 seconds left in the game. That proved to be the game winner and the Cavs became the first team in NBA history to come back from a 3-1 down to win the NBA Finals Series and ended up on our list instead of the Warriors, who had the best regular season record ever that year. Number 9, 1966-67 Philadelphia 76ers. Probably you have all heard about the Boston Celtics winning eight consecutive NBA championships, but not many have wondered what is the team that ended their streak? Well, here's the answer. The 1966-67 Philadelphia 76ers, who were named the best NBA team ever in 1980 at the 35th anniversary of the league. Four years after they moved from Syracuse, they had an excellent roster led by Will Chamberlain, who averaged over 24 points and 24 rebounds that year. Will also had 8 assists per game, which was the record by a center and made him the third best passer in the league that season. He had an excellent supporting cast with Hal Greer, Chet Walker, and Billy Cunningham all averaging around 20 points per game. The Sixers had a 46-4 start to the regular season, which is the best record in the first 50 games of the season to this day. They finished the season with a 68-13 record, which was also the best record up to that point, and scored over 125 points per game, an accomplishment only two other teams have done until today. The Sixers ran into the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals and won in five games, followed by an NBA Finals win against the San Francisco Warriors in six games. Number 8, 1986-87 Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers came into this season with a chip on their shoulder after losing in the Western Conference Finals the year before. Magic Johnson and James Worthy were in their prime, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was still one of the best centers in the league. This was the peak of the Lakers' Showtime basketball, led by Pat Riley as the head coach. The Lakers finished the regular season on top of the Western Conference with a 65-17 record. They swept the Denver Nuggets and the Seattle Supersonics in the playoffs, losing only one game in the second playoff round against the Golden State Warriors. They went on to the NBA Finals, where the defending champions, Boston Celtics, were waiting. The highlight of the finals was Magic Johnson's hook shot that won Game 4 of the series and gave the Lakers a crucial 3-1 lead that later converted to a 4-2 series win. Magic won the NBA Finals MVP, and that was the Lakers' 10th championship and 5th since they moved from Minneapolis. That was the last time the Lakers defeated the Celtics in the NBA Finals until 2010. Number 7. 1990-91 Chicago Bulls After years of struggling to come out of the East, the Bulls' time finally came. Michael Jordan had an impressive season, winning his second NBA MVP award and, as usual, being the top scorer in the league with places in both the All-NBA First Team and All-Defense First Team. 
MJ led the Bulls to a 61-21 regular season record, but the real deal came in the playoffs. The Bulls swept the New York Knicks in the opening round, lost only one game to Charles Barkley and the Philadelphia 76ers in the second round, and most importantly, they swept the Detroit Pistons in the Eastern Conference Finals and paid them back for everything they put them through in the previous three seasons. The Los Angeles Lakers, led by Magic Johnson, were the final obstacle on the road to the NBA championship. The Lakers stole game one in Chicago, but from that point on, it was all bulls. Jordan was simply unstoppable, averaging 31.2 points on 56% shooting, 11.4 assists, 6.6 .6 rebounds, 2.8 steals, and 1.4 blocks on the way to the finals MVP trophy. That was Jordan's first and Magic's last NBA Finals appearance. Number 6 2000 to 2001 Los Angeles Lakers. After taking a year off after winning the last championship with the Chicago Bulls, Phil Jackson took over the head coaching job with the Los Angeles Lakers. The team from LA had the best center in the league, Shaquille O'Neal, and the 22 year old Kobe Bryant, who was one of the rising stars at the time. The Lakers signed a couple of veterans such as Ron Harper, A.C. Green, and John Sally who had championship experience. The Lakers had a slow start of the season but then got to an 11, 16, and 19 game winning streak that will eventually lead them to the top of the Western Conference with 67-15 record. Shaq had an unbelievable season averaging 29.7 points, 13.6 rebounds, and 3 blocks per game winning the MVP trophy. The playoffs were not a smooth road for the Lakers, who played a decisive game in the opening round against the Sacramento Kings, defeated the Phoenix Suns in 5 games, and then survived in a 7 game series against the Portland Trail Blazers in the conference finals. In the finals, they defeated the Indiana Pacers in six games. Number 5 1970 1971 Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks won the NBA championship in their third year after joining the league. The previous year, they drafted Lou Alcindor from UCLA, later known as Kareem Abdul Jabbar. The Bucks paired him with point guard Oscar Robertson, and they were one of the best duos the game has ever seen. The supporting squad featured players like Bob Dandridge, John McLaughlin, and Greg Smith. The Bucks went to a 20-game winning streak at one point of the season, the longest such streak at the time and the fifth longest by this day. They finished the regular season with a 66-16 record and were dominant in the playoffs, winning 12 of 14 games. In the finals, the Bucks swept the Baltimore Bullets to become the first team from the Midwest division to win the NBA title. That was the Bucks' only title before Giannis Antetokounmpo brought it back after 50 years in 2021. Number 4, 1971 to 1972 Los Angeles Lakers. In 1972, the Lakers won their first NBA championship since moving to Los Angeles, and that was the only championship for Mr. Logo, Jerry West. He was the point guard on a star-packed team that featured Will Chamberlain. The Lakers won 33 straight games, which still stands as the longest winning streak in NBA history. They finished with a 69-13 regular season record, the best by that point, and tied for the third best to this day. After beating the Chicago Bulls in four and the Milwaukee Bucks in six games, the Lakers made it to the NBA Finals against the New York Knicks, which was the rematch of the 1970 NBA Finals. The Lakers lost the opening game of the series at home, but then won four straight to clinch the title with Wilt Chamberlain winning the NBA Finals MVP. Number 3 1985 to 1986 Boston Celtics. The 1985 to 86 was the best team in the rich history of the Boston Celtics. Larry Bird was the leader of the team, and this is the year when he won his third consecutive and last MVP award after averaging 25.8 points, 9.8 rebounds, and 6.8 assists per game. Veteran Bill Walton was named the sixth man of the year. The Celtics team also featured Kevin McHale and Robert Parrish. The Celtics finished the regular season with a 67-15 record, including a 40-1 home record, which was matched only by the San Antonio Spurs in 2016. The Celtics lost a total of one game against the Chicago Bulls, Atlanta Hawks, and Milwaukee Bucks on their way to the NBA Finals. 
They collided with the Houston Rockets in a 1981 Finals rematch and won the series in six games. That was the last title for the Celtics before they won again 22 years later in 2008. Number 2. 2016 to 2017 Golden State Warriors After the Warriors blew up a 3-1 lead against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals, spoiling the best regular season record, they made a key addition in the offseason, signing Kevin Durant. KD joined Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green, who were already dominating the league. All four of them made the All-Star team that year, and the Warriors became the first team to have four players hit four three-pointers in a single game. That season, the Warriors reached an NBA record 146 games without back-to-back -back losses and set the record for the most games with a 40-point winning margin or higher in the regular season with three. The Warriors finished the regular season with a 67-15 record. They took their game to a higher level in the playoffs, sweeping the Portland Trail Blazers, Utah Jazz, and San Antonio Spurs on the way to the finals. For the third consecutive year, the Warriors met the Cavaliers in the finals, and this time, they did not take their foot off the gas. By winning the opening game of the NBA Finals series, the Warriors set a record of 15 consecutive playoff wins. They beat the Cavaliers in five games, which is also the best playoff record of 16 to 1. Number 1, 1995 to 1996 Chicago Bulls. Michael Jordan came back to the NBA late in the previous season and was fully committed and ready to attack the NBA championship. The Bulls added Dennis Rodman to the team, who joined Jordan and Scottie Pippen, who previously won three championships together, led by Phil Jackson as the head coach. These Bulls became the first team ever to win 70 games in a regular season and finished the season with an all-time best 72-10 record, which stood until 2016 when the above-mentioned Warriors won one game more. The Bulls won the first 37 home games and finished 39-2 in the United Center. At one point of the season, they had 18 consecutive wins and finished the month of January with a perfect 14-0 record. When the playoffs came, the Bulls swept the Miami Heat in the opening round, went past the New York Knicks in five games in the second, and then swept the Orlando Magic in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Seattle Supersonics were the last opponent standing. The Bulls started strong, taking a 3-0 Finals lead, but then the Sonics, led by Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, won two straight to come back in the series. The Bulls won the following game and closed out the series. That was their fourth championship in six years. That wraps up our journey through NBA history and the top 10 teams that have left an indelible mark on the game. If you're craving more basketball greatness, head over to our next video. Trust us, it's a must watch.